What is up, everybody? It is Alex from Talking to Shadows, and we are here today with a special treat for you. We are going to do a deep dive into our most recent single, Valentina. We're going to take a look at the various stems. We're going to take a look at the instrumental tracks. We're going to take a look at the creative process that went into it so you get to see some of the demos that we uh, threw around before um, you know, putting out a final product and a final release of this song. Now, before we jump in, I want to give credit where credit is due. This song was recorded at the Magpie Cage with the legendary Jay Robbins. Um, we are so excited that we got to work with Jay on this song. We think he did a phenomenal job mixing it, and we will be looking forward to the next trip to the Magpie Cage in the near future. Um, we got this mastered by Dan Coutant with Sun Rim Audio. I believe his operations up in New York. And most of all, we want to thank all of you for giving this song a listen. We got some incredible feedback from it. We've been dying to put the song out for a long time. And when we did, we were just enthused and very grateful that everyone um, had the things that they had to say about it. So without further ado, let's give this song a listen. All right, so what really drives the song and what this song is all about is that guitar line from Greg. And that is something that is kind of consistent and constant all the way throughout the track. And something that kind of just lays on top of this entire thing. And Greg's guitar track, specifically what he utilized, I think this, is, this was his jazz master. Um, he was going through a Roland JC40 and a Fender Super Reverb. So I believe those, those amps were panned left and right throughout this entire recording. And that's why we get that nice wall of guitar sound that he's got going. I think he might have used a couple pedals too, maybe like one or two. Um, but no, I'm kidding. Greg has a atomic bomb of a pedal board, and I'm sure every button was pushed throughout the song. So let's give those guitars a little bit of a listen to start out. So that's really the main riff that kind of carries through this song and kind of the backbone of the song, if you will. But on top of that riff, we have some vocals. We're always face to face, but never eye to eye. And what we were looking for vocals here in terms of vocal melody and also vocal sound is a very ethereal, laid back vocal sound. And that's exactly what we have here. So we have a vocal melody that's kind of drenched in reverb, echo, you name it. And we have the, the various echoes that are at the end of every single vocal line that if you, if you listen closely, it does a cool thing around your head and in your the headphones specifically. Was a fake, left me feeling reckless. So it looks like there was some modulation or something that was put on those echoes to just swirl it around your head. Here you go again. So we used a lot of verb. We used a lot of verb. I think the, the specific reverb that we used was Valhalla Vintage. All right, so speaking of vocals, when this song comes in with the full band, we go from kind of a laid back, chill, ethereal vocal vibe. to a layered double vocal. And just in case anybody caught that, going in, or I'm sorry, going out of the super quiet guitar part, we have the backgrounds. If you listen to that really high pitched part that Greg's playing, it goes up. And that is how we eventually move into this portion. So everybody comes in. But this song, like I said, it's about them vocals. And we have beautiful double layer vocals there. Go back to a single vocal track. And 
and now we build. Back to a double vocal track. So it shouldn't be lost on us. When that portion of the song comes back in, we get a massive guitar sound. So we have the fuzz, we got all that good stuff, just completely filling out the soundscape and giving us a huge guitar tone there to really match the vibe of this portion of the song. Let's give some love to the rhythm section. So first off, we have the Prince of Goth, Ron, laying down the bass line. And Ron, you know, he's not a guy who needs a whole bunch of pedals or a bunch of fancy plugins. You give Ron a chorus pedal, give him a reverb pedal, give him some compression and just a big old tube amp and Ron will be happy. And that's exactly what we had in this case. I think he was going through the big crunch head along with either a four by 10 or an eight by 10. Um, and that's why you have this really tight uh, bass tone that we're getting here. And of course, I mean, I got to talk about the drums, right? So the drums, I believe this was a Yamaha Oak custom kit with an SJC snare. And if you listen closely, the snares are turned off at this portion because what we're trying to do is we're, we're trying to build this song up. We're trying to, to, you know, take it from a quiet place and just slowly put it into a really loud place. And that's what's going on with the drums here. So it's just a, a real tight tom and um, snare snare hits, but the snares are disengaged on the snare. And then we have the build up. Love those layered vocals. Ton of reverb. Now, my favorite part of the song is this harmony right here. All right, let's listen to that at least two more times. So this is a really, really cool under harmony uh, that Kat did. Oh, it's so good. Fine, we'll do it one more time. But while that harmony is building, we also have the rhythm section underneath of it building towards the end. And that launches us into our guitar solo. And look, we're a shoe easy band, so you gotta have massive guitar tone. And I mean, come on, what's that guitar tone? So we have a rhythm track going on underneath of that that has your basic complement of drive, um, distortion, all that good stuff. And then we have just awesome solo that really just kind of takes the song into the next layer. This song isn't all about guitar solos. There's a rhythm section in there too. I realized that, you know, Ron and I, we're not lighting the world on fire, but we're keeping it locked down. And one of the important things about this song and one of the interesting things about this song is that the drums, bass, they always follow that kind of laid back guitar riff that Greg had going on towards the beginning of the song. So if we go back to that guitar riff, a lot of emphasis on the upbeat.
And that whole vibe kind of carries over to when the rhythm section is playing throughout the duration of the song. So if we give that a listen towards the middle of the song... Particularly if we follow the snare hits, it's on a standard snare on two and four. It's a snare on two and the end of three. Two, three, end. One, two, three, end. Which follows that vibe of Greg's guitar the entire time. All right, so let's listen to this guitar because if we check it out, Greg's going to go up high, go, go up an octave. You can hear it first on the right speaker. And why does that matter? Well, because this song builds on itself. And when Greg's doing that, more layered vocals coming. One more ethereal. ethereal. Another awesome under harmony. Back to our opening guitar riff to close us out. And then just one last little breath from Cat. Just to make everybody sad. And that's the song. And this is a song that, as I mentioned, we had been trying to perfect for a long time that has resulted in us actually coming up with a couple demos. So the first demo that we had was, was the good old cell phone garage band demo. And one thing you'll find is this song is remarkably uh, similar in structure, in vocal melody, pretty much the entire thing. And this is... You know, this demo, this is something that Greg threw around and Kat threw some vocals on, and we were like, oh, this is pretty cool. But we knew, especially, I know when I first heard the bridge of this song, or I should, I should say the heavy part, this song was awesome. And even going back to that original demo, we still have those awesome harmonies on top of this. So even going back to the OG demo, Cat was dropping awesome vocal layering, awesome harmonies that really transcended, I think, the whole vibe of the song and luckily made their way into the final result. And the guitar solo, same deal. Guitar solo, same structure. And that ultimately resulted in us doing a, we'll call it a basement demo. Same guitar tone. And one thing that's really cool is I think we kind of got the feel for what we, what we wanted to do with the vocals in this portion of this demo, which was just put them in outer space and bathe them in reverb and just give us a ton of vibes. Once again, more awesome layered vocals. And Greg's guitar solo. Same structure. This is a song that we kind of knew what we wanted from the very beginning. And it maintained its structure throughout 
a bunch of demos throughout playing it a billion times at practice and then finally taking it into the, into the studio. Uh, and it resulted in something that we are incredibly satisfied with. So that's it. That is a deep dive into the world of Valentina, which was our most recent single. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got a kind of a view into our creative process and all the effort that we put in this song. And we are so glad that you like it. So glad that you uh, continue to listen to, to this song and all of our other ones. Thank you guys so much. 